Hello peoples. This uh, promises to be a very sort of meh video probably. Um, I like the show uh, Hannibal uh, on TV a lot. Uh, I think it's really well done. I really like the music on it too. Uh, but I especially like the guy who plays Hannibal. Anyway, um, anyway, I like it so much and I like the imagery in it so much that uh, I get the Facebook updates for it. And last month, uh, or a month and a half ago, they posted that there's this thing called Nerd Block and this thing called Horror Block that was doing a Hannibal theme. And um, I didn't know what those things were, so I looked them up. And it turns out it's this sort of grab bag of cheesy, um, uh, what is it called, pop culture toys and junk. Um, which seems sort of stupid in a way. Sorry to anyone who's really into that kind of thing. Um, I'm just speaking for myself, I'm sorry. Um, I don't mean to insult you, because Lord knows I am into a lot of things that people find stupid. Um, in the background I'm playing music for the 21st century. It's a space slash new age, new, that kind of music. Uh, compilation that I picked up at a library sale. It's not in great shape, sadly, but uh, it wasn't expensive. Anyway, uh, so I have this thing. It finally arrived. Oh, look at that crunch that the mail did. Um, but uh, so what it is, it's like a grab bag of this stuff. And uh, I mean, I looked at a lot of the other different kinds of things, crates or boxes or blocks or whatever they're called. Different people have different names for them. And apparently they're Lots of different subscription services like this. I mean, it's definitely, you know, be easy to rail against it as sort of a symptom of rampant com consumerism. Like people getting just all this junk that will sit and collect dust on their shelves or that they'll throw away or eventually uh, will be in the, uh, dumpsters or Goodwills and things like that. But um, uh, I'm a sucker for grab bags, as I've said before. I used to always love getting the prizes in a bowl of cereal. We didn't get the kinds of cereals hardly ever that had those prizes in them. And nowadays, when I could, you know, buy my own cereal, they don't really have those kind of cereals with prizes anymore, which is a tragedy. And apparently Cracker Jacks used to have really good prizes once upon a time, like 100 years ago, 50 years ago, 70 years ago. And now they just have, like, little tiny stickers or... Uh, temporary tattoos and crap like that. Anyway, so it's understandable that people would want some kind of a, a fun grab bag of stuff that they relate to, and there are ones for video games, and this one is like for horror themes, like horror movies and TV shows and monsters and stuff. So I'm cool with that. Um, it's just that I think in, in reality I wouldn't be that into it. Although again, because this is Hannibal, Sorry I'm going on so much about this. I'm trying to explain and give it a context. I even watched a number of videos of people. They do these unboxings, which we do in this thing I'm into called the Vinyl Community, where people will get like a package from a friend of some records that the friend thought they might like, and they do unboxing videos. Well, uh, I'm also into tech stuff, and, you know, it makes sense that there would be some kind of a tech um, uh, crate thing or box thing that you or loot thing. These are some of the different names that are used. Uh, package that people get every month. It seems like there's a lot of potential to it. Um, but let's see what we have here. But anyway, here it is. It comes in a box. Uh, and you never know what's going to be inside until you open it, unless you watch some spoiler videos online of other people opening theirs who got theirs first. So, all right. This is the thing I was most hopeful about. This is um, a Hannibal t-shirt. You know, and he's the guy uh, played by, apparently it's pronounced Mus, uh, Mickelson. Um, but he plays Hannibal on the show. I saw the graphic for this, and uh, I think this was the graphic that they showed in advance of, maybe, maybe it looks a little different, I don't know. Um, there's been some other designs for Hannibal t-shirts that maybe are a little bit better than this, but um, this is pretty cool. Anyway, so I... I this is this is pretty cool. I'm pretty cool with that. Now let's see what the other stuff is. This is the stuff that I may not be as into. Um, um, but anyway, like I said, it's fun getting a freaking grab bag. 
So here's something called Mega Scalers. Mega Scalers Godzilla. So here's a little plastic Godzilla who's pole dancing. Which is kind of strange. Um, hang up from headphones, attach them to cables. I don't know. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, and this is a Hannibal squeezable heart. You know, I, uh, I looked at a semi-spoiler online, so I guess this is a stress relief heart to squeeze. I have a heart condition, so maybe this is appropriate. Sometimes I feel like this is happening to my heart. Is this handle on it? Looks sort of like a boxing glove, but now there are the chambers and tubes. Let's see here. Um, how is this? This is like a still from a Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, again, this is, it has a horror theme, so of course it's all horror related stuff. I think they're supposed to be frightening. I never really got into Nightmare on Elm Street, but I could see someone being into that and that being cool. Well, let's see, Tales from the Crypt Keeper, Crypt Keeper Myth Conceptions, Horror, Featuring. Um, so this looks like a DVD. Um, includes eight explosive episodes. I, I assume this was done... Yeah, you know, this looks like it was done recently, not not like some old 50s or 60s or 70s thing, but some more recent, like it looks like cartoons or something. I like the EC Comics that this is obviously modeled after. That would be nice if they included that, but that's like older school. Um, Cthulhu, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is the HP Lovecraft monster, tentacle monster thing. Um, this is one of those things you put on your car instead of baby on board. It's like a demon who will destroy the universe and all life on this planet or something. God monster. Um, some of you might appreciate that if I read gifts. I, I assume I'll read gifts most of the And let's see, Pangori Magazine. Um, again, you know, I got this for uh, the Hannibal. I was hoping there would be more Hannibal stuff in it, honestly, but. Luckily, I saw a spoiler online that just said there was a t-shirt in the heart and some stickers or something, which I guess that's this right here. Um, so I wasn't going to get my hopes up too much. It would have been cool if there was some other Hannibal stuff, um, like maybe Hannibal soundtrack or something. Uh, that's something I want to get on vinyl, um, but um, there was this really neat four double LP set of that that came out in the UK on colored vinyl, but it's really expensive. Uh, that magazine, uh, Fangoria, has been around for a long, long time. Here are postcards for the advertising uh, Hannibal Blu-rays, and here is advertising. Oh, this tells you what was in the box that you just got. And that's it. Here's the crunched box in the mail. So that's the video. Uh, maybe I'll take this down if I get abused for my lack of uh, excitement, or maybe I'll just get kidded by people who think I'm a sucker. But anyway, that's uh, what it's like to get a subscription box in the mail. I canceled my subscription because honestly I'm not really into horror stuff that much, and I didn't anticipate it being the kind of thing I'd be really into, but again, Hannibal sucked me in, and it's a grab bag, so I wanted to do it at least once, so no huge regrets. Peace to everybody. If you're subscribing to any of these things, have fun with it, and uh, we all have our own thing that we're into, of course.